What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while. Welcome to the Cyber Cab, the 2024 Cyber Truck. This is the all-wheel drive version. So on my last video, I had the new Performance Model 3. Short-lived. As soon as they opened up the reservations for the Cyber Truck, or so that anyone can order, I could not resist. This is the Foundation Series. I got it with the core wheels with a tactical gray interior. Now this is the core wheels without the covers on. Sitting in the easy entry position, which is just a little bit lower. I tend to drive in sport mode all the time, so it's gonna be in the uh, low setting when I'm driving. Show you here into the vault. Now one thing I wanna mention is the storage here. When I picked it up, it smelled a lot like plastic, so I've been leaving it up, washing it, and after a whole month, I picked her up on August 18th, the smell has finally gone away. Gotta clean that window after I run her through the car wash as well. I wanna show you another thing I picked up from delivery just real quick. Right here on the interior, got a, a few little scratches, so I did make a service ticket for that. Now in today's video, we're gonna take her and do some Vision Auto Park. I just got the update. 2024.32.5 this is the top update no full self-driving yet on the cyber truck now i have put all window tint five percent all the way around also i did the front windshield which is almost up to the asc line but it comes down pretty far now let's hop in and test out some auto park do got the gopro 12 on top all right, everybody, welcome into the Cybertruck. Check our software update. So we're on 2024.32.5.4. This is the Vision Auto Park. And let's test it out. It does have tap, brake to drive. Now, the first test of Auto Park I did was right where I was parked. And it did it in one shot, better than it's ever done in the Model 3. We're gonna head down to Aspire Coffee and test out a few auto parks. Let me tell you about a few things that I love about the Cybertruck. The steer by wire has to be the best. It's got a lot of acceleration. Christy, what do you like about the Cybertruck? Anything off the top of your mind? Uh, it's awesome to drive. I actually better to drive than my car which is the model 3 yeah um so easy to turn to navigate yes it literally drives like a sports car like when it's talking about parking it can park anywhere it can maneuver so quick with the four-wheel steering just blows me away another thing i want to show you while we're here at the light i've got off-road mode so you got to be in park to put it on but you got sport mode you got baja you got off-road mode we'll change all the settings for your height and we got the green light. So the big question is, when are we getting full self-driving on the Cybertruck? They, they put out a list of items that they were gonna be updating at by the end of September, and we are getting close. Today is what, September 26th today? Yes. We just got the auto park rollout, which is getting pushed to everybody now, I believe. Just a few of the early beta testers had it before today. But wow, this truck drives so amazing. It has such good alignment. You can almost just drive straight without touching the wheel <laughs> as I'm touching it, but it, it drives very straight. And it's very touchy too. Very sensitive as well, yes. yeah. You don't need a lot of inputs to get it to move around. No. Hands down, an amazing driving experience. When I first sat in the Cybertruck before I drove it, I really didn't know what to expect, but that first drive was just blew me away. Some of the controls you got here, you can change the ride height on the fly, you can open and close the tonneau cover on the fly. been a little while since I've made an FSD video. This was all under construction for quite some time. So we're gonna go ahead and flip a U-turn. And with this cyber truck, you really do flip a U-turn. You gotta hang on to your copies, you name it. So here's our first U-turn <laughs> coming yes. up and we're just gonna whip it. 
just like that, oh, full lock, like, just whips right around. Amazing. It is it amazing. Just turns like that. And really good acceleration. The seating position I really like too. One thing I never liked about the Model X is it felt like a van with the steering wheel below you, but this one much more, much better seating position. All right, so we're gonna test out our first auto park. Let's go into go full screen mode. Let's go and hit park, hit start. And this is the first time we're seeing the Cybertruck wheel turn on its own. Unless you've been watching some of the other, other videos, you can see that four wheel steering too kicking out in the rear here. So on our first test, it's gonna pull in real tight right there. On the first test, it pulled it in one shot, and I'm happy to say that it pulled it far enough back so we're not sticking out. I know that was a problem in the last update, which we did not have. And look at that. Amazing. I mean, right in between the lines, it's pulling up all the way to the back, almost to the uh, curb there. Let's go ahead and try out one more. This time I'm gonna give the camera to Christy here, and she's gonna record on the outside while we do this. All right, so Christy jumped out. She's gonna film it from the outside. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on a side-by-side -side screen here just so we can see it. Let's go ahead and pull up a little more and we're gonna back into the one of the spots that maybe she's at right here. Let's see. Let's see if we can go in reverse and if it'll pull up any spots. So it looks like this thing drives like a beast. I'm not sure if I can get into one of those spots or not. Let me see. It doesn't look like a parking spot there. So let me try this one here and start again. This auto park is sweet. Although parking the Cybertruck is so easy with these cameras in the front and these lines are lined up right on the inside of the tire. I know that going through the car wash. And I tell you what, it's accurate. You can literally pull into spots you would not imagine. All right, he's gonna need to pull hard here. So it looks like we are right in the spot again you can see the lines almost equal distance on both sides and i'm going to go ahead and try one more auto park i'm going to tell christy to watch that for i'm going to do one more keep an eye on the rear wheel steering i'm going to park over there all right we're going to pull it up one more time i asked her to go ahead and see if she can keep an eye on that rear wheel steering because it is fantastic all right let's see if we got another spot uh, spot here all right hit and start so it's going to pull up a little so, so far, two for two on auto park. And she goes wide. She go That's how much range this car has with the four wheel steering. It's just unbelievable. Until you drive this truck, you have no idea how amazing it handles. Wow. Medium gets up. I think we're going straight to high. Pretty wild. I don't really like driving like this up so high. I like it to keep it low, keep that center of gravity, but it sure is impressive. Now, one thing that's really cool is that you can, for kids, you can like put in Baja mode, go to extra high as well. There also was a step above that. But when we drop it down, drop it down to entry and listen to the airbags. so sweet the kids love that just raise it up and then drop it down all right all right guys so that's tesla vision auto park in the 2024 cybertruck this is the all-wheel drive version it's got full self-driving but we're still waiting on an update now quick up update on powershare now i'll talk to tesla they said they were also supposed, also supposed to be putting out a uh, update so that way you can use solar and power wall and Cybertruck to do power share. So hopefully this month we see that because right now you have to have the power share equipment currently to be able to do power share. And with that being said, thank you guys so much. Leave your feedback, smash that like button, and we'll see you on the next one.